So today's video comes courtesy of Valbeast. I sent over a lit little package in a little cute box like this. It's almost like it's a shopping bag, right? Super cute. Um, the wig itself is a lady. I've already had a sneak peek of it. I took it out of the packaging that it came in. This is a wavy textured wig. I have it linked in the description bar with all of the details. Um, you only get about two to three inches of parting space. Wish it was four, maybe even six. Um, but there's a tag attached and it tells you exactly what you got going on here. This texture is water wave and it's in the length 24 inches. Here. And then of course on the back it has the care instructions which are washed out conveniently. So this wig looks like I'm going to need adjustable straps. Um, it looks like it's going to fit my head really nicely but it's just the way it's shaped I think it's going to need um, straps because you see how it's like this which means you have the tabs. So back here it's going to fit really good but up here it's going to need to be snatched. So I'm going to go ahead and add my straps. Also, maybe we can use, um, got her from Amazon, so if you're interested in her, I'll have her linked down below. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on the mannequin head. Really, you just want to see what's going on with it. Beautiful. This hair is unmanipulated, and you can see the curls are amazing. Fail. But yeah, the curls are amazing. You can't see through the wig or anything like that. Very dense, so you don't have to worry about fullness. Now flip it around and you can see that the hair actually has baby hair already ready for you. So you can trim it down, leave it as is, tweeze it, pluck it. You have so many options. I chose not to bleach the knots. Um, as you guys know, I don't bleach the knots always. I'm going to take this leg spray from Sally Hansen's. You can get it from Sally's, I believe. You can also get it from the drugstore. Just did a few sprays and I used like a nice big foundation brush to kind of buff it in. The first few times I used this, I sprayed a lot and I made a thick, thick, thick layer of it. Um, did great on the inside but it did bleed through so if you put a lot it's going to bleed through and be like in the hair and make a mess it's also going to um you know transfer and get everywhere so the way i did it this time around super thin layer um it's definitely gonna help as you've seen um in the beginning and you'll see at the end i did add a little bit of powder on top just to kind of set it even more but this is a key step to making your it kind of tints the lace so to speak so it makes the lace as you see it's not the exact same color as my skin so it's going to make the lace um you know match my skin it's gonna make it look like I bleached the knots you can kinda see when I just turned my head poking through it just looks like my scalp is over there not you know lace so I kinda just separated um, what baby hair they provided and I just kind of used the pull method to just kinda pull out a little bit of the hair to make it nice and sparse and thin um, I like the way this looks so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down to about an inch or so Handy Dandy got some glue gel, comes through in the clutch, and I'm going to go ahead and load on a little bit with my fingers and swoop my baby hair. I'm going to lay that down on the sides, my ed my edge burns, my sideburns. Um, love this baby hair brush, still going strong with it. Um, and I'm so sorry for this cakiness. My makeup has not been matching lately. I've just been in shambles. But on the sides, you can see you only get about an inch of parting space. So I take it over towards the center where you get much more parting space. Um, I did show you guys this when I showed you the inside of the wig of the sides. Um, like past the arch of your eyebrow kind of um, has less. But I just parted um, a nice little space. And I'm going to go ahead and do what I wanted to do was one French braid. It wasn't working so I tried to twist because that was easier. That wasn't working and I just realized, you know what, you're being lazy. You need to actually do this like you're actually styling your hair and stop being lazy. So, um, finished the parting up, or refixed it. Added a little bit of my Blast Free Spray for a little bit of hold um, and to kind of cancel out any flyaways and separate the hair. Now I'm going to do a real braid. This time it worked out much better. You'll see the, the braid is super defined. But I guess because I'm impatient, by the time I got to the end, I kind of let it go and it loosened up. And this was my third attempt already. So I was like, you know what? We're going to just leave it as is. So this looks really good here. If you have four to six inches of party space, it's going to look even better because it's going to go back further. But because I only had about three inches, it kind of was a short braid. Went ahead and um, put it into a ponytail 
detangled it. Um, really wasn't tangled, but just, you know, I wanted to make sure there wasn't any tangles before I twist. Added a little bit of foam. Would have preferred to use um, just plain water, but I couldn't find my spray bottle. And I was like, you know what, I'm about to twist it into a top knot, but first let me just see what it looks like half up, half down. And this looks bomb. You can leave it like this, no product, and you're good to go. Like really, really, really good. No product added. But of course, off camera, I went ahead and twisted it up and made a top knot. You see me made a top knot a million times. So for the end of the hair, um, I just decided to go ahead and use my Nexus Humect Humectris Moisturizing Conditioner. And this is it. And this is pretty much it. I did my little ninja bun that I love so much. And I left the rest of the hair down. So for the hair I use. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick little close up. This is what it looks like. It looks like I went ahead and bleached my knots, right? So you guys seen I used my airbrush leg spray. And this comes from Sally Hansen's. And I put that on the underside so that it kind of glows from within and then on the outside i just set it with a little bit of powder to set it off you guys know my powder has not been working out for me lately in this i like very much so i went ahead and did a top knot you guys seen the inside of this wig um it gave me about mm, three to four inches in the very center but on the sides it's like one or two inches it comes really short so usually when I do a bun like this I would take it over a little bit more but because it was shorter on the inside and I wanted to give the illusion of a lot of parting I kind of just parted it in the front I started a braid up here but because the hair is so long and I'm not that experienced with braids as much as I would like to be it just was doing too much and I kept messing up so I just was like you know what we're gonna keep it the way it is like it's supposed to be a braid and we're just going to end it with a top knot at first i did try to leave it down um in the ponytail but um i just had to do a top knot bun i don't know what it is but i just love the top knot buns the actual water wave texture is super beautiful very low maintenance i couldn't find my spray bottle to save my life and i have two so um i went ahead and i used this here and this so i went ahead and used this here this is the nexus humectris moisturizing conditioner and it is basically a deep moisturizing conditioner usually it comes in a completely different bottle but i bought the generic brand from sally's a lot of times i go on sally's for one thing and i just go to the generic session and just pick up a bunch of different things and that's how i ended up with this and i absolutely love it normally i keep this under my sink because like when i bleach my knots dye hair co-wash hair this is my go-to i never really use it as much for styling but when i do want to style with a conditioner um this is one of my favorite because again it is a deep conditioner so you're really really going to get that moisture um, and then I could not find my spray bottle like I said before so usually I would just spray it down to kind of activate the curls with the product but because I didn't I kind of had to be ghetto and just kind of put half in the sink and kind of just put a little on the ends and brush it through and this is the results absolutely love this hair nice and full sure. I have this wig linked down below before anyone who wants to check it out not sure if it was DHL or FedEx but it shipped to me within three business days so shipping was fast and i didn't have any problems with that i've actually had this wig for over a month and i'm so mad that i'm just now getting to it because it's so nice and pretty that i went to a few events in the last couple of weeks where i wish i would have wore this this hair is perfect for the summertime because you can literally just wet it down like when you get in the shower in the morning just wet your whole head and then go because it is such a nice texture it's gonna hold that curl and just be super cute throughout the day and you know when you get tired of it you can cut it and take it up take it up a few inches and you can just make it shorter and shorter throughout the summer so it can last you all summer but as the summer goes by you can wear it like two weeks to a month in the nice long length and then when you get tired of it just cut off two or three inches maybe four and kind of just take it up and do something different and by the end of the summer you can end up with a cute curly bob like the one that you guys love so much that i did like a couple of weeks ago but yeah i feel like you can see but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out val best i have the information in the description bar as i said before also don't forget to subscribe like this video and share it with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one